Hi, welcome back to another Ribeye Follow the Build. We're up in our fit out facility again today. We're going to take you through this incredible 821 that we've got going out in Montenegro. Since this year, particularly, and since winning the Queen's Award, we're really finding that our client base, which has now become very much international as well as UK, are really embracing the, the UK manufacturing we're doing and really recognising that we build the best ribs with the highest degree of customization and attention to detail. So what I want to do now is hand over to Ross, who's just going to take you through a bit of this project, and then we'll hop on board the boat and have a look around. Okay, guys, if you want to come and take a look here at this build render pack then, just to give you a look of what this boat here is going to look like when completed. So it's a Prime X21 build, um, very sort of med colour scheme, you know, really good for the sort of hot, hot climates. You'll see on some of the recent builds we've incorporated in, in a lot of this sort of white powder coat with the white gel, which really does look mm. good. Um, a nice light colour tube as well, great for the hot climates. Are you ever going to be standing on there with bare feet? Some cool kind of dark where you don't stand. Stand, haven't we there right? totally which is awesome which is something we do and that james's point now that all follows down to the underside so it is a two-tone with like a nice swoosh pattern you'll also see here we've got two more factory custom yamahas now these are the first ever white factory custom 200s into the uk they haven't arrived yet but we're all really excited to get these on a prime 81 it'll be the first of a kind really excited and what i particularly loved about them as we showed before is the, the, the white they've done them in is that like gorgeous pearlescent, oh, isn't it? So it looked so amazing nice. in the sun. And also going with the scheme of this boat, they've done all the decals on them black. So they're basically black and white. So as you can see, that follows through the rest of the scheme of the boat and it, they just look so good. So yeah, super excited to see those engines come through. Really nice. So, you know, this is the render pack that guys have been issued. Great boarding and whatnot. We'll look at the teeth when we're in the boat. And what we have here as well is our technical specification document, which follows the boat right the way through from laminating to fit out the tubing etc and just skipping to the back page here where we have some of our custom features which we will show you in time there's going to be a specific bow bimini with no windows to create a, a large shaded area for the family when on board as james was saying montenegro really hot so it's important to have a shaded area which can then be folded and even removed if required and also this boat's going to have things like um, we, we we mentioned the custom white engines but it's going to have a coffee machine and things like that so this is all really about cool. quality performance but most importantly leisure family day boat there's yes. so many features Enjoy. Time time on the boat. It's going to be, it's going to make some epic memories when it's in that warmer climate. I think that the, this shows as well, you know, this is very much the journey that you go on with your design consultant here at Ribeye. Absolutely. Isn't it? So when you start to build your boat, you know, we go through so many reiterations of this to arrive at that and giving you time to really digest what you're getting and go through the detail. Yeah. So this is very much how we work through the process. And all of the little bits and the, 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 the details that really matter to us and you all get captured in there. So as we work through each department and each stage, we ensure, you know, that we build you the exact boat that you're looking for. So we're on board the, 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 the 821 now. Um, I'm putting in a late one is Harley. Harley runs all of our, our fit out here. So, and he's absolutely incredible what he does and a, and a full on perfectionist. So Harley, do you want to just sort of say, you know, what, what sort of process do you go through when the boat first comes in here? You know, when you first meet, you know, a member of your team to get them following your plan effectively, isn't it? Yeah, I think uh, the planning stage is crucial. It's like seeing the complete product at the end before you started. So like, you're not going to put something and then think, ah, I haven't thought about that bit. Like, yeah. It's all thought out on day one. Yeah. Everything's planned down to where it's wired or where things are positioned and just really kind of, you know, eyes on the user of the boat like how are you going to use this how would you open this locker what are you going to keep in it let's like position everything so it can be used yes yeah, so it's very it's much like function led isn't it yeah so that the boat's going to work really really well for them yeah and for me it's just the finishing like at every edge every detail um i'm a bit of a, a weirdo for straight lines and if anything's wonky it just blows my mind yeah so yeah <laughs> well, no, that's why you're straight, straight what you do finishing man. Um, and just function, like, really got to work. No, thanks a lot, man. Yeah, so we'll start with an overview of the dash, yeah? So, um, Ross, do you want to take us through? Yeah, thanks, James. I, I think really just firstly, like, what, what, the, um, what the dynamic prime console comes with. We have various different consoles available. You'll see on some of the other builds we've got going on here. We've got our ergo console, which we do from time to time fit inside 
this eight meter, if you want to open up the deck a little bit more, this, this uh, console can take a toilet and also it's very wide, so it offers fantastic protection. But looking at the finish of this particular specification, there is a nano non-glare plastic available, but the client here specified molded carbon, which looks really nice. And you'll see throughout the prime, you'll just find these little details you'll find sort of branded cleats. You'll find these made, that's the official made in Britain badge. Ribeye foot plate along there. You are able to customize that with a boat name if you want, or like a logo or something. And back to Harley's point of the sort of attention to detail, not only does that mean the sort of symmetry you'll find on the dash or the, the wiring internally, but also we lay flexi teak and then the really neat sort of beading. They're the yeah. sort of differences we think when you really look underneath the hood on a ribeye, that stands out. It's the small details that count. And as we said before, it's, it's everything when we look at it, it's how, what's the best way to do it, isn't it? What's the right way to do it? You know, we don't scrimp on anything, whether it be visual to you or the touch points, but also behind the scenes. And, you know, I've, I've mentioned it before and I'll just touch on that. You know, the Yamaha Garmin partnerships, so I'm loving this, that now you've got your really big nav, comes in various different sizes, but also, you know, your engine gauge completely matches it. They've, they've done like a mini version. So you're getting that real nice symmetry there. And this new this new rigging stuff that's coming out from Yamaha, I mean, this, the, the functions on this throttle is so cool. And here you'll see you've got the joystick yeah. um, driving docking system here. This does all manner of really cool things. I think with this as well, James, you know, Combine the joystick control with a rib in general, it just means there couldn't be an easier eight meter rib to park, no. like in a marina, no. things like that. So it's a very sort of get on, crack on, easy to use boat. But also I love that feature, you know, where it'll hold you on the spot because yeah. it uses the GPS and then the engines will just, just work it all out. And as you say, you know, twin engine, you know, it isn't, a, it isn't bad to maneuver this boat, but literally, you know, you want to bring that into the quayside and you're literally just leaning the lever yeah. over and the engines and the computer work it all out. It's, it's, it's mental how cool it is really. Another thing looking at the dash as well and you'll find this throughout any console we design you'll always find proper ergonomics and you'll see how your knees will go underneath the dash here a bit like when you're sat behind the wheel yeah, of a car the wheel is just perfect and we it? do that via split tooling which we if you look at some of our other videos we talk about that in a bit more detail mm. when you use split tooling it takes longer to build but with us our design approach is always to try and get the best most ergonomic most feature rich product out of any of the moldings we make Another point Harley touched upon as well is like the application of what the boat is. So we look at how tall like the, the most common driver is going to be of the boat and whatnot. And this specific boat's having our ergo suspension uh, bucket seated helm station. And you'll see down here on our table here, you know, we look at sort of ergonomics, how tall you are, and that'll all be positioned underneath here. So be it if you're stood up or if you're sat down on the, on the actual suspension bucket seat, you're gonna have the right sort of foot support no matter what driving position you're in, just so you can crack on and enjoy the boat safely. Yeah, um, well, I think that's with a lot of boats, isn't it? It's like when you finally then sit down, you're too low. Yeah. And, and, and you know, what we wanted to create was that whether you're stood up or you're sat in the seat, yeah. you maintain that like command drive position. That's it. You? So you can see the vessel, you can see around it, you can see what it's doing, you can see what your guests are doing. And, all of these things is, you know, that we, that we've thought out and we've gone through, you know, which culminates in, you know, these boats being incredible to Start drive. Styling them in. Yeah. yeah. And I think that's the thing, you know, there's loads of boats out there that have the features that you can sit on and chill on, but it's that dynamic, yeah. incredible feel, you know, the, like the personality of these boats when you drive them, you just want to drive them Something more else. and more and more, you know, and just take on more journeys with them. And I noticed there, Ross, like so much, like obviously this must be a customer specification because he's got, you know, charge extra white um char waterproof charging system scan strap boat i noticed there you've got the, the, the signature series audio looks like there he's gonna he's obviously optioned the windless anchor system yeah um because that's obviously the safety switch for that but even down to like you know the lighting you know all beautiful lopo lighting and yeah all stainless steel fittings on the on the fuel fillers and it's all done very nice yeah exactly it's gorgeous you can see our dual bung our quad bung system with with our central deck drain there you know and the whole point of that is just keep all that really easy to service and to get to just keep the deck really nice and dry you know so if you come in from wakeboarding or whatever you may be obviously we've shown this before this is our mast here you've got a really nice structural toe point on that and obviously that with white with the t-top and then the white engines 
This boat's just going to look incredible. I see You'll fresh see. water shower there. You've got the shower there, James, as you say, but also there's two receivers either side in the teak there, which um, accepts two telescopic carbon poles. Yeah. So there is shade extensions both forward and aft on this boat as well. So, yeah, I guess, so when you set that up, you're going to have loads of rear yeah. shade, but then also that kind of pop-up front shade yeah. sunbed. And that's that's going to work super well, isn't it? Because as we've shown before, we'll just talk through it again, this bow area, transforms into a really, really lovely sunbed. And obviously what we're doing, we show this as we go through the process, is a canopy is gonna come up there so you can kind of lie in there, but be in the shade. You can see some of the wiring's just beginning in there, you know, and it's, it's incredible how much goes, goes into these boats. And um, yeah, it'll be really, really exciting to show you this boat as it develops. And, uh, and when we get out on the water. Okay, guys, I think we've covered enough of the features of where this boat is uh, in its build today. When we get the new engines in, we'll of course update you and we'll, get an, uh, we'll make an episode of this boat when it's launched as well. So that's going to be an exciting day. I think the really cool thing, just looking around the workshop today, is every boat in here is actually being exported. Um, at the moment, we've got this boat, as we say, going to Montenegro. We've got another 821 there. That boat's going down to Port Grimaud. We've got a seven metre jet. That one's heading to the Med later this year as well. We've got Corfu. We've got a yacht tender and another 10 metre, which is going somewhere. I'd have to check, the, the, check on the system where that's going. But really excited to see these British built ribeyes exported around the world. Absolutely. Yeah, some really, really exciting projects that's happening at the moment. We touched on that. Yeah. We're going to start showing you loads about this. We've got some really, really cool stuff coming, which has all been developed and engineered here in Dartmouth. Yeah. That jet tender, that's a fully certified Solus rescue boat. So that can operate on uh, super yachts over 500 gross tons. So that's super exciting. Just got so much cool stuff going on. It's a really, really exciting time. If you are interested in looking at a rib, whatever brand, come and you know, come and meet the people that build it. See what goes into it. Understand how you're going to be supported throughout the life cycle of that boat. And that whole process, you know, is, is about is about fun and building something that really is an expression of you and, and that's something that you're going to have so much fun on with your family. So, um, yeah, we'll see you next time when we get back to, to see with this boat as it develops. Thanks, guys.